fashion is a really hot topic in the 21st century. A lot of us don't know how our clothes are made or who makes them. A tempting solution might be to look at how people made clothing in the past, but we're going to explore a little bit today about how that's a little bit more complicated than we might think. I'm Andrew Field, Curator of History at Neighbor Settlement, and we're here in the Infrastructure Gallery. So we're going to look at Hannah Dixler Allsball Scrapbook. This was the starting artifact of our infrastructure exhibit. And so what we can see here is a lot of colored fabrics, most likely cotton, right? So Hannah made a lot of her own clothes. So we might think about her as an antidote to fast fashion because she's not gonna be able to produce at the level that the fast fashion brands do today. However, her scrapbook reveals a little bit more of a complicated story. These are cotton. So a hundred years before Hannah, Someone who was like her, a school teacher, a farmer's daughter, would have probably had to make her own cloth. But the Industrial Revolution and the Cotton Revolution allows her to go to a store and buy all these beautifully patterned cottons. She's not making it, so who is? Well, most likely these pieces of cotton are being picked by enslaved people in the South. And then they're being sent to factories in New England or in England to turn out these beautiful cotton fabrics. They would be very carefully selecting design and color to appeal to a consumer like um, Hannah. So we don't know how much Hannah thought about the fabrics and how they were getting made, but we do know is that she made her own clothes. So she would go to the store, buy these fabrics or use fabrics from previously designed costumes, and then she would remake them. So she was really intimately connected to the making of the costume or of the clothing, but not necessarily the making of the cloth. And so here we can see kind of early roots of fast fashion. They're producing these cloths in massive volumes to sell to people across the world, just like Hannah. Hannah would have gotten her ideas from magazines or fashion plates, which were new at the time. So we think about how fast fashion comes out with new trends seemingly every day, sometimes every hour. Hannah would have gotten magazines. Those magazines are coming out faster and faster than they ever have in the past, but it still would be slow to us. So she's participating in a um, fashion kind of industry of making dresses that look like what she saw. And so one of the really cool parts of her scrapbook is her discussing disagreements she and her mother had about what were appropriate styles for a girl her age. So if you are interested in learning more about Hannah, her scrapbook, or the way it connects with fast fashion, visit us here at Neighbor Settlement to see our infrastructure exhibit, which will be open until November of 2023.